Welcome to the Family Circle Time Travel Curry Mansion Adventure. Our host today will be none other than Anthony. Hey, welcome. How's it going, Family Circle members, friends of Valley PBS? Uh, I'm Anthony. We're back again for another great live Facebook Live. Um, we are here over at the lovely Kearney Mansion in Kearney Park, Fresno, California. Uh, we're going to take a tour of the Kearney Mansion today, uh, see some of the rich history that this iconic home has to offer. Um, and we actually have a friend that's going to be helping us out today. So let's go meet her. Uh, her name is Candace. She knows a lot of good stuff. Come on, guys. Let's go take a look. This is Candace with the Fresno Historic Society. Um, she's going to be answering a couple of questions for us, uh, giving us a quick tour of the uh, Kearney Mansion, you said? Yes. Give us a quick kind of like idea. What is this place? Yes. So a mansion is a really big, huge house. And so we call this the Kearney Mansion Museum. And it was built by Martin Theodore Kearney. He had it built over 118 years ago. Wow. And most of the items here in the Kearney Mansion Museum are original to the house. <laughs> Wow, 100 years ago, things were quite different than they are today. Keep your eyes open for things that are kind of alike, but not quite like they are today. Today you are in for a special treat because I'm going to take you and Anthony to go visit the child's room. Sounds great. Should we get started? Yes. This wallpaper is original to the house. The name of this blossom is called wisteria. Can you say wisteria? Wisteria. And the wisteria blossom, it used to be lavender, but just after 118 years, the red dye has just kind of like faded off and dye is kind of like a paint. So you're now left with this gorgeous blue. So I love this, this wallpaper here. And you said this is uh, original to the house? Yes, yes. And so I think it just gives it such a, a beautiful look. It makes me feel like I'm in this uh, wisteria tunnel. <laughs> you can follow me to the child's room. Kind of have a feeling why that might be called that. Yes, and so there was a child born here. It was um, Parker Frizzell Jr. He was born in his mom's room that is next door. And, um, but Parker, this is where he played Parker's day. Now, um, these are some antique toys. And antique, that just means really old and classic. So you want to remember that because I'm going to use the word antique a lot. There are going to be a lot of antiques in this home. Yes. And so, for example, you have this antique wagon, which I love. I think that my kids would just love playing with a wagon like this. You have this toy wagon here on the, on the floor. And so I could just imagine Parker playing with a toy wagon like this kind of like Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. And then you have this toy cabin house with the chimney right there. Sort of like maybe Abraham Lincoln was living in. Yes, exactly. Um, right behind you, you have a tricycle. Do you want to try and get on the tricycle, Anthony? See I, if you can fit that. I think the tricycle might be a little small for me. I'm kind of a bigger gentleman, okay. so. All right, well, we'll have to <laughs> save it. And then we also have this toy chest. And inside this toy chest, we have blocks that have um, classic nursery rhymes on it. So for example, you have Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So these are like examples of what um, Parker Frizzell may have played with in his day. These were some donated items to the Fresno County Historical Society just to depict um, some antique toys. Did you know that there was no video game system, there was no TV, no radio back then? They did things like use their imagination and played with jacks and spinners. Their dolls were made out of porcelain, kind of like glass, and the Tinker Toy was barely invented. And so that was common. Some dolls, you know, were made out of out of glass and so these aren't the regular type of dolls that we see today the clothing that the doll wears it depicts what a little girl may have worn back in parker's day 
So this is a good idea of how clothing looked a hundred years ago. Yes, it, even these dolls too, like the nightgowns, what they would wear over their head. Now, right, right, right next to you, some of my favorite antique toys. We have this um, horse wagon right here, some uh, nursery rhyme books, such as the Mother Goose book. But then my favorite is kind of like a piggy bank. Did you have a piggy bank when you were little? I did. I didn't save a lot of money, though. Okay. Well, you can put the coin right there at the top. And then this vault, it opens up right there. Now, when we go downstairs, you will see a real vault. But this is like a toy vault here. Should we move on? Yes. Now, one little other thing I want to show you that we have on display here. Now, Kearney was really, he was rich for his, for his day. Um, he had, of course, a bathroom with plumbing and, and irrigation going on here 100 years ago. But what most people had was this wash basin. And so you would just put, if you want to come on this side to see, people would just put water inside here and pour it out this way. And they would wash their face. And so this is how people would wash their hands. Got it. And then down here is what we call the chamber pot. This is how people back in Parker's day and Kearney's day used to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. In that? In that. And so, because most bathrooms were outside, you know, they were called like the outhouse. Mm -hmm. And so, you didn't want to have to go outside in the middle of the bathroom, in the middle of the night. So, they would use the bathroom right there. Okay. Do you want to open it to check it? Just to, oh, you already I it. think I'm going to be all right okay. on that one. So, this <laughs> should make you very thankful of whatever bathroom you have at home. So, instead of running water, you had to warm up your water in a bowl. And instead of a toilet. That's what center. most people have. Got it. But currently, we just have this on display to show what most people had back in Got the it. late 1890s and early uh, 1900s. But currently, he had a Jack and Jill bathroom. Got Let it. me show you the Jack and Jill bathroom. Now, does that mean only people named Jack and Jill can use this bathroom. No, no. Jack and Jill bathroom just means a bathroom that's connected between two rooms. That's a good question, though. <laughs> Watch out right here because the, the hangers. And so this is original to the house. So over so over 100 years ago, Kearney had a shower and a bathtub, which was rare. Most people back in that day did not have a shower. Most people had the wash basin that I just showed you. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a very fancy bathtub. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can follow me into the music room. Okay. One of my favorite antiques is this Travola. And this Travola, it's kind of like an old school CD player, if you know what an old school if CD is playing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so, um, it still works. The CD, the album would um, go right on top. And so it moves just like this. And then you would hear music coming out of uh, this. We call it, it it's kind of like an old school speaker. So you would hear music coming out here. So that's how they would enjoy music and have a great time. Right. So if you see any of your grandparents old uh, vinyl records, it's sort of like that. Yes. Now, you can try out this real cool bull horn chair. It looks like it might be a little pokey, maybe. No, you'll be okay. Be careful because it is antique. And this is also another donated piece. And so, yes, yeah, doesn't it feel soft and it's smooth? Very smooth. Yes. And this piano is also a donated piece. Back then, it was very common. Um, in the early 1900s to have candles at the piano. And so I love these antique pieces and we call this the music room. Now this is the hat that you can actually try on. Look at that. Let's see. Look at Let that me make hat. sure. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, you look, look you look kind of like Martin Theodore Kearney. I do look a little yes, bit Yes, like just with the face mask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looks good on you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll have to get one of those for myself. <laughs> now, this trunk, 
we have a trunk in each bedroom just to remind us how Kearney got his start in, in sales and marketing. So you think about like the suitcases that you have at home. Well, back then they had trunks and they put it on the back of their horse and carriage to travel. And is this just kind of a, a, a vest that somebody may have worn back then? Yes, yes. Very nice. Follow me. Not only were music players different back then, the telephone was much, much different than you would see today. Parker Frizzell Jr., he did not have his own cell phone. This was the telephone that was used, and this is original to the house. So this is how Kearney and even the Frizzell family will make phone calls. Oh, wow. Yes. One phone for the whole family? Oh, yeah, one phone for the, for the whole house. That would not work <laughs> in my house. That would not work out. Yeah, I think that's, you know, a lesson maybe I can teach to my kids. Look, we're going to share one phone. There the you whole go. House. Yeah. Make them grateful. <laughs> All right. So this was Parker Frizzell's Jr.'s, this was his mom's room. So here are some photos of, Di of Dagmar Frizzell. So um, she trained horses in polo, she trained dogs, she was um, an artist, she was an actress for a little while and a model for a little while. Um, she used to even hold Mother's Day events here at Kearney Park on the lake. Wow. So Kearney Park used to have like a little lake. Um, and that was actually her idea. Uh, there's outside, there's a dip area, and it was her idea to fill it up with, wa with water. And, and by the way, this is the room where Parker Frizzell Jr. was born. Oh, so the young man that was living in the children's Child's room. room. He was born in this room. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so this was his mother's room. And here's some photos of her, if you want to come around to see. This is her on the lake inside of Kearney Park. And this is her modeling some clothes upstairs outside on the, on the deck. And her name was Dagmar Frizzell. Now the furniture in here is original um, to the house. So this furniture is, is hundreds, uh, over 100 years old too. Wow. The wallpaper in here was reproduced also. Um, and the bathroom, I even love the bathroom area. It's original to the house too. So that is the original tub and shower. Oh wow. You have to think, you have to think that how, how grand this house really was. Um, for Kearney to have plumbing on the second floor for his day and electricity and to have a shower, it was very advanced in his day. I mean, the only thing you needed, you could be very comfortable living here. Mm -hmm. All you need is just Netflix. That's it, <laughs> and you'll be good. These are some items from our costume collection. I think this is our, 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 my favorite. And so some jackets and some dresses that were donated to the Fresno County Historical Society. Yeah, do you wanna come take a look at these? These are really uh, antique. <laughs> Clothes were quite different than they are today. People tended to dress more fancy, less casual than you would see today. I really love this bedroom. Um, at first this was the superintendent's room and then when Kearney was living here, um, this was Kearney's bedroom. The bed frame is original to the room. Wow. So that's original and the dressers are original to the room too. Um, this desk is original to the room. And so this is what um, a desk would, would look like back then. Um, and the lamp is original to the room also. This gives you, if you wanna come closer, you can get a really good view of what Kearney looked like down the decades mm. in his 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, let me also show you the bathroom again because the bathroom is original to the house and it's to me it's a big deal because it again it just shows how well Kearney was doing. This was not common. The toilet looks a lot more convenient than that pot you showed me. Yes, a little bit. much more convenient <laughs> <laughs> and so I think um, when you go on a tour here it just you know, makes you very appreciative of, of today and what we have available. The modern amenities that we might deal with. Yes. Sure.
Okay. Yeah. So let's go take a look at uh, maybe the downstairs yes. area. This is basically the business office. This is my favorite piece. You'll hear me say that a lot. You'll hear me say, oh, this is my favorite. Oh, no, that's my favorite. Oh, no, this is my favorite. This really is my favorite. Okay. And so what do you think this might be, Anthony? Hmm. So we have a bit of a wheel going on. Uh-huh. And something to turn it with. Yes. Um, and it looks like something goes down in here. Is this something for the fruits that you're growing? No. Okay. This is the most important piece in this entire estate office. This was basically the coffee maker. That's like the most important piece that you need. It's very important yeah. For all of us. So you would put the coffee beans on top and then you would grind it. And this is original to the house. So this is how they would grind their coffee. And then the ground coffee would come out right here. Wow. Yes. Yeah. It seems like everything was a little bit harder a hundred years ago. A little bit, but that's definitely worth it to do. Yeah. yeah. And um, let me show you this desk area. This gives you a good visual of what the landscape looked like. So right here is where we are. We are at the, the Kearney Mansion Museum. Um, along these trees is the Kearney Boulevard. So that was the front entrance. Back here was the self-sustaining colony that Kearney had built. You don't see it here anymore, but this building here was the packing house, the packing house for the raisins. This is an up close picture of the packing house. And then you also have the general store. Here's an up close picture of the general store. People, the families on the farm could go there to get some groceries or even just to get some money. And then you also had the blacksmith house right here. Um, and then along this area were some of the single family homes uh, where people lived. You also had the men's um, quarters up here. Um, and so you had uh, single family homes and men's quarters along uh, with, within the self-sustaining colony. So we, a lot of people call it Kearney's town, mm -hmm. but it was technically a, a colony. Kearney even had his own coin wow. um, that could be used on the land. And there was even a little store in downtown Fresno that honored the Kearney coin. Wow. That wasn't really an uncommon thing. Um, you know, families, they weren't stuck here. Mm. They had the freedom to go wherever they wanted to go. They could turn in their Kearney coin to the general store and if they wanted to move, they could definitely, definitely move. But he did that because Again, it's not like everyone had a car that they could just jump in and go to the bank really quick. Right. So he had um, the Kearney coin here too. And so you could kind of, if you really wanted to, spend your whole life on this you quality have... and not have to go anywhere else. Yes. And then it looks like we have another map over here in the, in the corner here. Yes. Let me get on this side here. I love this, this map. So this map, was actually created by someone who used to live on the Kearney, um, on the uh, Fruitvale Estate. So right here, if you want to get a little bit closer, this is Kearney Boulevard, where you entered. You entered in this way through the gate. You came all the way around, and here, where here is where we are at the Kearney Mansion Museum. This is where Kearney was going to build his chateau. What is his chateau, Anthony? That's a French castle. Yes, a French style castle. <laughs> and um, so this is where the Oak Knoll um, picnic area is. And this was his plans of where he was going to build the French style castle. If you notice in the front, you had um, orange orchards, you had alfalfa growing right there, you had rye growing, you had plums. So it wasn't just grapes and raisins, but grapes was grapes um, for raisins was the main commodity, was the main thing grown here. Now I've heard a lot of people call Kearney Boulevard his driveway, the one yes. with all the palm trees and stuff. Is yes. that true? Yes, yes. And so that was his driveway. 
um, to the Chateau Fresno. At first it was called Chateau Boulevard, but then of course after he passed away it was called Kearney Boulevard. It was even more grand back then. It was even much more beautiful back then. Um, it had over um, a thousand different trees. Wow. And so you have the palm trees, the eucalyptus trees that, that are out there now. But there was so many different species of, of bushes and, and, and trees out there. And so, yes, um, that was his, his driveway. Can you imagine, you know, um, having to drive 11 miles from just to get to the front of your just house? Just to get to your house. Just to get to the front <laughs> of your house. Let me show you inside of uh, Kearney's private office. Mm -hmm. Now, my favorite photo to show, here, here, there I go again with favorites, um, is Kearney's two cars. So he had two um, locomobiles. This is his locomobile that he used to travel in back and forth. This is Kearney in the back with his chauffeur in the front. When he first came to California from the East Coast, he actually moved to San Francisco first, and then he was buying up property in Fresno. So he would travel a lot from San Francisco to Fresno, and he would do it in his local mobile. But my favorite is his Mercedes-Benz limousine oh, yes. that he um, kept in Europe for when he did his traveling in Europe. That's another thing I love about him is that he did a lot of traveling. Um, um, he was trying to um, grow his, his markets in agriculture. And so his Mercedes-Benz back then was, he, he bought it for um, $10,000. And so wow. in today's money, that probably be like $350,000. <laughs> Can you believe the cars that Kearney had? He was a cool dude, and he was rich, but he also had a very, very special house. Very high tech for the day. In fact, it could stay cool all by itself. You will notice that this room, it's, the ceiling is very tall if you look up. It's 12 feet tall. It's The reason why it's so tall is to um, keep the, um, the cool air below and the heat rising. So they didn't have ACs, air conditioners, uh, back in Kearney's day. And that's just how he was able to keep the, the house cool. And so in the summertime, when we're giving tours, it feels good just like this. Wow. Yeah. And we all know it gets pretty hot in Fresno. Well, right, right. <laughs> and right behind you, Anthony, we have this, um, glass, um, frame here to show what the house was made out of. This type of brick is called adobe brick. And this adobe brick was made right here on the land and is very thick. It keeps the house insulated. So again, this was a very high tech house for Kearney's day. You had plumbing, electricity. You was a, he was able to keep the house cool and insulated. And he even had dual pane, kind of like a, a dual pane window um, back then. And so this, this window structure is original to the house too. And that's why we're able to take a look at this house and it looks a lot like the modern amenities that we still have today. Yes, wow. yes, it was very comfortable. <laughs> this is our reception room. Um, we like to call it the show off room because it's so fancy. Um, the lamps in here are original. And so these lamps that are here on the fireplace, they're original to the house. They're very classy. They have that Art Nouveau style. And Art Nouveau is kind of like an organic, natural style. Um, so the lamps are original. The lamp in that corner is original too. Kearney had that custom made. As you can see, he had really great taste. Um, that lamp is entitled um, Fruits, Fruits of Harvest, just to honor like the harvest season. And this wallpaper, you know how I feel about wallpaper, right? We love wallpaper. Right? We love wallpaper. <laughs> you know how I feel about wallpaper. <laughs> this wallpaper is original to the house too. So I, I, I love these items in here. Um, other items in here are donated, but I just love this reception room. Uh, this is where Kearney would entertain his guests. 
I think this is a lovely room. Yes. And I think this may be a lovely place to end off. Um, but we want to thank all of our friends that helped us uh, create this and make this uh, tour possible. Yes, thank, thank you, you. Candace. Thank, thank you, you so much. It was Candace great with, having you. With the Fresno Historic Society. Yes. Thank you so much for giving us this tour. And one more time, where can you find Kearney Park? Where can you find Kearney Mansion? You can uh, find Kearney Park on Kearney Boulevard. It's about 10 miles west of Fresno Street. So when you get off of Fresno in 99, um, you are going to go about 10 miles west on Kearney uh, Boulevard. Got it. So folks, be sure to come out. The, the park is still open. Uh, you can take a look at the outside of the mansion, but if you want a tour, make sure you're going on to the Kearney Mansion Facebook. Um, they're giving out tours. There's a lot of stuff we weren't able to go over, unfortunately, but um, keep your eyes peeled friends of Valley PBS and Family Circle members, because we're going to have a lot of other great stuff coming up, too. Um, join us on Saturdays. We do Facebook Lives like this all the time. And uh, check out Kearney Mansion while they're giving tours live, too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's at uh, valleyhistory.org. Valleyhistory.org. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, remember, have a great day. Thank you for joining us today, and stay tuned for more Family Circle Adventure.